Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial series on Next.js where you will be learning about Next.js alongside TypeScript and how you can use Next.js to develop your own web applications. So let's get started. So the first thing first you need to know about what is Next.js. So basically if you look onto the definition provided by the Next.js itself so it says that Next.js is a framework for building your web applications. Now with the help of the Next.js what you can do is you can basically build user interfaces using the React components. So this means that React is basically a prerequisite to understand Next.js. But even if you don't have any knowledge of React, don't worry, we will make it more simplified for you so that you can understand Next.js easily. Now the Next.js provides you the additional structure, features and optimization as well for your application. Now basically what they are trying to say is you can make your web application alongside your web UI and the backend as well. If you look at the features provided by Next.js, so these are all the features that they provide and we will be covering each one of them individually in individual video lessons. So let's move on to the installation process for the Next.js. So the first thing over here are the system requirement and you need to have Node.js 16.8 or later installed on your PC. So if you have been following our TypeScript tutorials, you must have Node.js installed in your PC and let's see what version do we have. So for that, I will move on to my Visual Studio code and over here I will write down node-v so this will provide you the version which is 18.14 which means we have the later version so we don't need to install node.js if you need to install node.js and you haven't followed our tutorials on TypeScript you can find the link in the description below now moving ahead there are two installation procedures provided by Next.js one of them is the automatic installation and the other one is the manual one so we will go ahead with the automatic installation for that what you need to do is you need to copy this command npx create next application at latest let's move on to the visual studio code and over here make sure you are into your current folder where you want to create your first project i am inside my next.js tutorial folder inside my e drive and over here i will just paste that command and hit enter the first thing is it will ask you to install the create next application package so we will do yes and hit enter once that is done you need to give your first project name so let's name it as my first app then it is asking you if you want to use typescript with this project or not so we will select with the yes option then it is asking you if you want to use esnet so basically esnet is a static code analysis tool that identifies any problematic patterns in your javascript code so this is highly recommended if you are using javascript as we are using typescript so you can go ahead with no but we will keep it as default for the yes option now it asks you for the tailwind css so basically tailwind css is an open source css framework and we know that CSS is basically used for styling your web pages. So we will go ahead with the yes option because obviously we would need a styling for our web applications, user interfaces. Now next it is asking you if you want to create a source directory. Yes, it is a good habit of creating a source directory because you should have each of your main component files inside the source directory. So we will select yes for this option. And then we will use the recommended option for app router. Yes. And if you want to use a default import alias we will select no and if you want to change it you can use yes but we will go with the default option so we will select no over here now it will take some time to install all of these dependencies so let's wait for a while so that we get all of these dependencies installed in our system you need to make sure that you have the internet connection connected to your pc when you are installing your next js all right so we have all of our packages installed and our first app created so you can see over here you have the folder my first app and you can see all of these files created by Next.js itself. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to move into this folder and that is my first app. And inside this folder, now we will do whatever we want to do for our first application. So if you go back to the installation procedures, after the installation to run your application for the first time, you need to run this command npm run dev. So let's see what happens when you run it. And here you can see it is compiling some of the files and it has provided you with these two URLs. Either you can go to a web browser and visit this IP or you can directly go to this URL. Press control and follow this link and it will open up the web page for you. So you can see over here that this is the default first application that is created on Next.js. So what we will do is we will try to make some changes and understand a few concepts on how this thing works. So as you know, all of the main files for this project are inside the source directory and this is our source directory over here. So if you go inside this source directory, you see you have 
all of these files over here. So this is the Fabicon that you see on the web page. And then you have some global CSS. So this means that there are some global CSS being followed for styling all of the web pages. And then you have the layout and the page .tsx file. As we are using TypeScript for our next JS project, so that is why you will see that you have the extension .tsx. Otherwise, you would see .js extensions over here. And if you see, you have the layout.tsx and the page.tsx file. Both of these files work together because in React, you have a concept of root and child. So basically, in Next.js, what happens is all of your web pages are basically components of React. And you need to have a different layout file and page for each of the web page. Now, if you want to have a common layout for all of your web pages, then you can have a common layout file. Otherwise, you will need to have different layout files for your different web pages on your web application. So let's see how you can make some changes into this file. So if you start from here, you can see in the layout.tsx file, you have first of all the import. So basically, it is importing all of the globals.css to follow the CSS styling. And then you can see that it is importing some of the fonts from next font Google directory. And then over here, you have some metadata for your web page. And then followed along, you have the function. It is basically a React functional component called root layout that takes a single prop children of type react.node. You don't need to worry about all of these terminologies. We will be covering all of them. But just to understand, what you need to know is this function root layout is actually calling its children. And that children is actually the home page, which is lying inside the page.tsx file. Before we move on to editing the main page, let's see the metadata over here. So you can see we have the title. And if you remember, if you want to give a title in web page in HTML, you need to write it within the HTML script itself. But over here, you can see that you have a different function for the metadata for your web page. And you can see the same title, create next app over here as well. So if we just change it over here, let's say we just change it to code in piece. So you will see the moment you save the file, it will load it over here. And you can see the changes depicted on our web page. In the same way, you can also change the description as well. The description is not represented onto the web page itself. In order to see the description for the website, you need to right click and see the view page source. And you can see over here that you have all of the details for this website. And you can also find the title as well as the description as well. Now moving along, let's see how you can change the main content of your web page. So for that, you need to move on to the page.tsx. And whatever you are seeing on this web page is something that is inside the home function. So basically, your home page is inside a home function in the page.tsx file. And you can see all of the contents of the website that you see on the web page lying inside this function which is being returned. So what we will do is, below the main, we will select everything and just delete it out. And over here, we will provide h1. Welcome to Code in Peace. The moment you save it, you will see that the change is depicted over here. Now, you might be wondering that we have provided h1 tag over here, but the heading doesn't seem to match it. This is because there is some global CSS being followed by this component inside the Next.js. And if you just make changes to the global.css, you can actually get an actual h1 heading. So let me just show you quickly. If we just comment out this import over here, so this means it won't follow the global.css anymore. And just save it and you can see that you have the actual H1 size over here. So with this, I hope you've got an understanding of what Next.js is and how you can create an environment on your PC or your laptop. In our followed sessions, we will be looking at different components of the Next.js and by the end of these lessons, you will be able to create and deploy your own full stack web application. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.